Hello everyone, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have 19th of September 2021. I'm in Czechia. This is a coniferous forest in mountains. Hopefully it will be better than yesterday. And what I'm starting with is this mushroom called Hidnum Repandum. This is a traditional spot where I usually find these mushrooms and this is one of my favorites so i'm quite happy that they are here in such a nice size as these guys and i have already found several of boletus edulis mushrooms but they were heavily damaged by slugs so let's see if i find anything else I found some milk cups here. I will not pick all of them because some of them have a stamp really soft, which means it's full of worms. So from this group, this little one will be probably okay. And I will move forward, there are more. Just found something nice and round. And it looks like a Scarletina bolete. At first I was afraid it would be the Bitter Beach bolete. Or the Bitter bolete. But it's the Scarletina bolete. I have just spotted two huge zeps. One of them is destroyed by slugs, but this one could maybe be usable. And there is some other mushroom growing next to it. It's one kind of russula. This one was also visited by some slugs, but it's quite a nice find. I've just found a place with so many milk cups that I think I have never seen more of them at one place before. You can see a huge one here. Two more and here a bit mixed with some other kind of mushrooms we have also some younger ones older ones So it's plenty of them and if, if at least two of them will be good then I will be happy. We'll see after picking them. The milk cups keep to be very warmy inside. But here I have found another group which looks quite fresh so I give it a small chance. Not to this one, because I can already see the stamp is having some holes. But maybe at least these smaller fresh guys would be okay. So I will see. Now I will try my luck with these three guys. They are growing nicely in a row. 
and same for these guys uh, if at least one of them will be healthy I will be satisfied because today it's very poor this one is definitely wormy but we'll check at least these two I can see a smaller one so hopefully that means it's young the stamp is quite firm which is a good sign but we'll see after I cut it and there in the distance I can see a bigger one so let's get there I think this one will be at least wormy or bad in other way but there is no obstacle why not to check it yeah it went out very easily because the stamp got broken it doesn't seem to be wormy it's probably something else oh yeah now I can see many holes from small bugs so the old one will be probably bad the small one will be probably good and there is some very interesting mushroom I don't know what exactly it is but this poor tree is damaged and they are growing on it maybe I can show you what I often do if I have a mushroom which I am not going to take I take it and put it on some high place so the spores can free freely fly away and spread this is a nice mushroom that likes to grow on trees I don't remember the Latin name that I used to, to know it is edible and should be very tasty but I have never tried it I don't have any tradition in picking it and it could be exchanged for some poisonous species so I don't recommend to pick it if you really don't know it and here I can see young guys from the Arm Armillaria family of mushrooms which also likes to grow on trees and if you cook it for long enough it is edible as well I keep finding the milk cups and this one is probably the biggest one that I have found today I decided to pick it because the leg or the stamp is very firm so if there are no worms inside it would be great also in this forest it's more and more common to find the fly agaric and it's visible that someone was here and was cutting some mushrooms here but look at this this one looks very fresh I believe it must have been here when the person was here but it was so small that decided to leave it here or maybe didn't see it and now I can take it I'm just considering a picture as well so the picture is taken and it is time to pick this nice fresh mushroom already being attacked by a slug but the damage is not so bad so of course that such a young guy was healthy and not far from it there is another one also looking to be quite fresh 
the stamp is quite soft at this one so maybe at least the hat will be okay we'll see I have one more edulis here again looks very fresh and the stamp of this one feels firm again so I hope it will be a good one again what happened is that I have found traces that someone was cutting some mushroom here before me my deduction is that it was yesterday because this fresh guy probably did grow overnight and today I can take it and use it at home so another nice young piece and I'm happy that I keep discovering them few more meters I can see the mushrooms that the previous mushroomer have found here the previous mushrooms were quite huge and for me there is this fresh guy some of these fresh guys have wormy stamp but at least the head is usually okay and this one is a very decent size so it was clean which is really nice and I don't know how but the basket is getting full I have many nice milk cups then already some of zeps and of course at the beginning I took the hidnum repandum mushroom which I think in English it's something like Vuj hedgehog or something like that I have some other stuff here this zep doesn't look to be too old however it's it's very heavily damaged by slugs already so I'm not taking it and there is also a giant one which doesn't look to be rotten yet unfortunately the stamp is quite soft maybe at least the hut will be usable but it's quite heavy and it doesn't look too bad so I'm wondering but before I will start cutting it I want to show you what I have seen after I switched the camera off so there is a very little one here which definitely stays here then behind me I have noticed another fresh guy this one looks great and that's still not everything because one other fresh guy is waiting here for me also looks good so I'm wondering how they will look like inside so this is the result stamps were a bit wormy but surprisingly even the big one had really good head with no holes from worms and thanks to that I can take these mushrooms home which means there is even more stuff in the basket now just found a place with more of the hedgehogs
and I will only take these two freshest ones because the other ones have some mold on them so that's definitely something I don't want to take home but that's not everything from this place because there was one more hedgehog here I will leave it be then I saw this fresh edulis and after that I spotted this giant one I will check if the stamp is okay no it's very soft and I'm not going to check it because it's anyway full of worms and it it's so huge it deserves to stay here that giant was not the only one and was not the biggest one maybe in this forest look at this it was able to lift such a heavy piece of stone the stamp is a little bit soft but I will try maybe the head will be okay again yeah the stamp is full of worms then we have a small guy here but it's very soft so what I will do I will just cover it and the small guy can grow and behind it there are two more guys or actually three one is already lying on the ground I don't know why maybe someone was here and the other two I will check them because they don't look to be too huge or too old so I'm wondering most probably they will be all wormy but I will check that the two big guys were okay in their heads so another huge addition to the basket and now we can have a look at another huge group of this armillaria species that we have found before I don't usually pick them so I will not pick them today but I will take some pictures of them definitely okay guys so I have found many mushrooms today that means it's enough for two videos then this will be the end of the first one thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the second part see you next time bye bye